Cheers. Huh. How do you say that in Spanish? Let's learn three phrases to toast in this episode of Speaking Spanish for Beginners. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te va? Me llamo Marco, your Latino Spanish teacher from Latin L. This is a pretty cool episode because even if you don't know any words in Español, you can start using this content at your social gatherings. Today, you'll learn three phrases to toast in Español, a fun episode to share a few drinks with your amigos, and the summary is available for free on my blog at www.latinele.com. Are you ready for this? Sir, yes, sir! Vamos! When sharing a few drinks with amigos, families, or even colleagues, it's part of the occasion to toast. Or as we say in Spanish, brindar. How do Latinos do that? Let's study three simple ways to have fun when you share a few drinks en español. Número uno. Salud. This is the most common and universal way to toast in Spanish. Salud. S-A-L-U-D. Salud. The word salud literally means health. Why are Spanish speakers so medical about toasting? Well, one theory says that in the past, it was common to see food in bad condition, so a lot of people would intoxicate with food. So saying salud, health, was a way of expressing a good wish so you don't get sick from the food that goes with your drink. Nowadays, not many people think about that origin when toasting and saying salud. It's just the standard for cheers. And just because you say salud, wishing good health, doesn't mean it will cure your hangover. Or resaca in Spanish. Hangover, resaca. So be careful when you drink. Salud. Número dos. Por nosotros. This phrase is used to celebrate the group or the relationship among the people toasting. It's a way to honor friendship, love, or a special bond. Por nosotros means literally for us. Por nosotros. Perfect for lively gatherings or when you want to encourage group unity. So, the next time you want to make a good impression with your amigos Latinos, raise your glass and say, Por nosotros and then drink your tragos. The two forms of toasting so far are salud and por nosotros. The following one is a fun way to toast, and it goes with some movements. I'll explain how to do it. Número tres. Arriba, abajo, al centro y adentro. Literally, up, down, to the center and inside. Arriba, abajo, al centro y adentro. When you say arriba, move your glass up. When you say abajo, move your glass down. Al centro, you move the glass right in front of you. And then adentro, inside. It's time to drink. It's like the Macarena of toast. Arriba, abajo, al centro y adentro. <ríe> Just without the awkward dance moves. Y ahora que sabes brindar, es tiempo de divertirse. I'm sure if you toast in Spanish, your amigos will be impressed. Yeah. Have fun and drink responsibly so you can continue enjoying la vida loca. And that, mis amigos, that's all for today. Gracias por escuchar Speaking Spanish for Beginners. If you enjoy this podcast, please give it a five-star review and recommend it to a friend. Creating this content takes many hours, so it would mean a lot to me if you can take 30 seconds to help me spread the word with your Spanish beginner friends. Wanna be in touch with me and suggest future topics? Yes! Then become a subscriber to my newsletter. You'll be part of Latinele Familia. And when you subscribe with the link in the episode description, 
you get my Spanish Adventures Companion, my ebook with five premium podcast episodes to help you navigate common travel scenarios in Español. It's free and you can unsubscribe anytime. Nos vemos en el siguiente episodio de Speaking Spanish for Beginners. Chao, chao.